Okay, folks, what I've got today. Uh, I bought two lights from Wilco. I think they cost uh, £3.50 each, so seven quid for the pair. Uh, I'm seeing if they work on my uh, uh, Cold War ballistic chronograph. If they do, it saves me spending nearly 50 quid on a new uh, pair of lights for it. So uh, I'm going to test my AGS. Uh, spring rifle on it with uh, GSB jumbos to see uh, how they're performing. So we'll see uh, how the test goes and if it's uh, if there's no errors. Well, that was five seven. So the error was caused when the uh, when the actual target holder fell down. See that bottle there. I'll stop it. So we don't bloody at the bottle now. Right. thinking what might be happening is some of the plaster seems to be laying back and hitting it. So I'm using a plasticine backstop. Just like to say the uh, pellets of JSB exact jumbos weighing 15.89 grains well, I have not weighed them so taking from what it says on the tin so <clears throat> I've got about three or four hours out of 24 shots so that's uh, not too bad really uh, it does mean it does work indoors it's up to you to decide if it's worth it. Uh, like I say, I'll just pan out a bit. <clears throat> You'll see that the plasticine, I think, is probably what's causing the errors because it's splashing back. So they might, if, I, if I'd have had a bit more in between my uh, the backstop and the uh, chronograph, I probably wouldn't have had any errors. See, there's uh, plasticine on it. There we go. The actual lights are magnetic, but I'll need a more powerful magnet for the back. At the moment, it's being stuck on my double sided tape. Um, basically, that's it. <laughs> 